Okay, Bernard. Bernard Kofi, you can go ahead. Yeah, good morning and, and thank you very much. Um, um, I think um, it's very helpful and it, it's an insightful training um, looking at uh, the, the scope that has been shared so far. I only have some little observation that I would like to put across if it could be considered. So basically, I think um, for me, from my side with the challenge that I had yesterday, so I'm proposing if possible, like um, we can make it less of lecture and then uh, more of um, training like hands-on so we follow. I believe that even if in an hour we can do that 30 minutes because um, I think we, we are here to, to, to develop the skills and build portfolios. So if in an hour we can do hands-on for 30, 45 minutes, I think that would be helpful and then we can understand actually what we are doing uh, than to maybe probably follow the lectures. And so um, that's that's one proposal. So if we can make it more hands-on and then we follow the processes so that we can understand it step by step rather than to just trying to complete maybe the schedule for the day or for the session. Uh, without necessarily following and then understand or practicing what you are doing. So that's one. And also, if uh, the instructors can slow down a bit sometimes, so we can just follow with them because um, they should understand that the differences between them and the learner is, is wide. So they shouldn't take it like, okay, um, they are just like me. So sometimes they should slow down so that we follow and then properly understand what you are doing. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much, Bernard Kofi. Thank you so much for uh, sharing. And of course, uh, we have Makida and Kerot. Maybe, Makida, do you want to shed more light on that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think uh, you've made a really good suggestion. Uh, I'm glad that you spoke up about it. So what we used to do was, so the challenge documents are guidances. I mean, uh, it's the actual thing what you have to do. But then the tutorials that we provide are not directly um, telling you what to do, like actually not, but actually describing what the challenge is and so um, leaving the space for you to um, explore. But so now that we've uh, understood and actually we are working on it to make uh, more uh, descriptive uh, challenge document and also add some additional resources that you guys can look at and also as you suggested, we can make the tutorials more descriptive, more hands-on, more pr practical. That's what you meant, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yes, we can do that. But also, you have uh, you. I recommend that you guys also try to uh, go through the challenge and challenge yourselves with with the document. You know what I mean? So it's all new for for all of you, and so I think you can also take advantage of that and be curious on how you can use uh, many different ways to solve it. But of course, the, tutor the tutorials will be um, more practical. We're also thinking about that. So the um, coming uh, challenge documents will be, I think, will, will have a more descriptive um, uh, content within it. So yeah, I think that's good. And also, please don't do not hesitate to ask any question that you have. We can also uh, arrange uh, a separate session just to make things clear for you guys. So you can all also request that if it's uh, needed. So yeah, thank you for that. And also okay. just, it's not, it's not really related to what you said, but just to add before I forget it. So I recommend that you guys uh, check the schedule every day. I mean, just to uh, remind yourselves. So today I have made a little adjustment on the time so you guys can go look at it. And Notion is, so the best thing about Notion is it adjusts to your own time zone. So it's okay that we say UTC or you guys use EAT or anything. So I just just wanted to say that. A reminder. Amazing. Okay, thank, thank you so much. much. Yeah. So I, I, I requested for access to the data, but uh, it has not been granted. If that could be made to, uh, because I couldn't, it was on view only for my for my side. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. Um, I was saying that I requested for access to the data uh, that was shared oh. to us. Because mine was on view uh, only, so I couldn't edit it. But I've not been granted access. So if that could be checked. 
oh no, I so we don't give an edit access, but you'll have to copy it, maybe. Okay. So that yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much. So we're good there now. Uh, we have some number of, of people here raise the hand. We have um, Adeline Shami. And then uh, good Collins. Good morning, Shami. Uh, thank you so much for the opportunity. Uh, I was going through the, um, the schedule, this week's schedule, and uh, I have a suggestion that we have um, we could meet at at ten, another one at um, at eleven. So I was wondering if we can like use, you can like arrange to, you can say like two hours a day or three hours a day, and we do the meeting of the whole day without scheduling from like ten at eight different time. Thank you. All right, amazing. Thank you so much for uh, the suggestion, Adeline. Uh, Makide, do you want to answer that as well? Um, so, uh, so the sessions are not mandatory to uh, to attend, but we really recommend that you guys join stand-ups. But so the why the tutorials uh, are fragmented like that is that's to at least get um, some some times from each uh, person that's attending and not just specify to one place because um, there's lunch and there are also other things that uh, people do so we can't actually just put a segment of time for tutorials but you can always find the tutorials uh, recordings on our youtube channel but so the stand-up session is already a fixed time it's always at 8 a.m utc uh, or 11 a.m eat so i suggest that you just attend that and if you're not able to join the other sessions then you can always find the recording i think that uh, will work all right thank you thank you so much uh we also have um collins Collins, Magu. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, th thank you very much for the opportunity at this time. Uh, this is uh, just to say yesterday I did everything possible and uh, the network was actually extremely bad. So I couldn't uh, join that session. So, but uh, I think from what uh, uh, Makida said, I don't know if there could be any help just to bring me up to speed because I know starting from the first day is very important to be able to flow through the week. So I don't know if there's anything that can be done, especially with the sheet, because I've seen uh, the message that was sent. So with the sheet, if I can get some highlights, maybe after now, that will really go a long way to help me to flow through the other things for the week. Thank you. Okay. So did you miss the challenge introduction? Yes, ma'am, I missed it. Okay, so we can um, adjust the time just uh, for you to go through it with one of our tutors. So you can um, slack uh, carrot or red eight or not nice and they'll make time. You guys can sort that out. Okay, that would be nice, thank you. You're welcome. But I suggest that you go through the challenge document before that as well, just to give you a clarification. All right. Yeah. OK, thank you. Yeah, and just to add on that one and the from the, just to add on the comment of, I, I believe, uh, Bernard. So, uh, so we are available uh, to give you any uh, guidance that you need. So just make sure to inbox any of the tutors and they will be uh, very happy <coughs> to help. So, uh, but first, uh, like if you miss any sessions or like challenge introductions and so on, we do have a YouTube channel that uh, where we upload the recordings every day so make sure to go that too uh, just to go through that one too but for now we can't have a session but for other times you can go through the recordings and 
if anything that's not clear there, you can ask the tutors and on the slacks. And for Bernard, uh, yeah, that's a good, a very good uh, co comment that we will take. And just to add on that one, uh, the sessions are like most of them, like 90% of them are practical. We do show you how to use things and how to do them by uh, having, uh, doing it by ourselves. But uh, we're not going, most of the times, we're not going to be using the same da data that we give you. Because if we do that, it's it's going to be just copying what we did uh, for your work, which is going to be, uh, which is going to li limit you guys. So what we do is we're going to have a similar uh, data sets or a similar case or use cases and just do uh, or show you some of the things that you can do with it and what we expect you to do. So you can just have an idea of uh, what to do uh, with your data and what to submit and how to do the analysis and so on. So yeah, the, the data set that we are going to be working on and the slides and the video will be shared with you guys every time. So just make sure to go through them. And if anything is, is not clear, just don't hesitate to ask us and we will respond as soon as we can. Thank you guys. All right, amazing. Thank you so much, uh, Kerod. Uh, okay, we see have some people uh, questions. We have your time. Uh, please go ahead. Your time is fire, and then we'll be followed with uh, Adeboyega Ajibare. I'm sorry if I mentioned your name incorrectly. Your time, you can go ahead. Okay, thank. You. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, uh, my question is, I want to know. Okay, there are assumptions that... um, my question is, how do we submit? Okay, uh, maybe, maybe, yeah, tell me, you can, okay. you can go ahead. Um, maybe, how, okay. how do we submit um, our, um, okay. uh, the terms we've done? So, we're going to have a session in the afternoon uh, that's, uh, that's going to work you can through you all, how to yes i think you have a lag uh, can you hear me now yes okay so i was just saying that uh we're gonna have a session in the afternoon uh where we're gonna uh, take walk you through how to use clinics and how you're gonna submit on clinics your work when you're done with them so make make sure to just join the session in the afternoon and you're going to have an idea of how to do it. Okay, thank you. Um, just to add Amazing. on that. Uh, so I uh, think you are talking. So um, what I suggest is that you log into your 10x account. If you haven't yet, you just have to use the email address that you used when you are reg registry registering or for the application phase and just reset your password and then you can until the session uh you can navigate through it it's pretty easy but i just suggest that yeah thank you um i did um but i also have another question um are we supposed to use the tools and the the tools that you guys gave us on technical content uh, for this challenge um Kerod? um yeah yeah so the tools that we gave you are essential for uh, this challenge so that's why we showed them but for instance for uh you know like uh instead of uh, google sheets you you could use uh, excel from microsoft and so on but uh it's it's important for you to just uh, get used to this uh, tools because they are used internationally and in the uh, real world, uh, the, the businesses that you are going to be joining. So you're not limited to these uh, tools, but they are just recommended. Plus the tutorials are going to be uh, just uh, focusing on by using these tools. So if you are comfortable with other tools, yeah. You can, for instance, instead of ChatGPT, you could use uh, Copilot and so on. 
like um, I'm sorry, like uh, Bard and so on. But uh, we do recommend these tools because they are used uh, internationally and they are recommended. And since the sessions are going to be focusing on these things, but you're not limited to them. If you can do it, you can. Okay, uh, thank you so much. But I, I also have one more question. I'm sorry. Yes, please go ahead. Um, okay. Um, are we supposed to like submit a document, or is it just something that's kind of an Excel format um, sheet, or what is like the format that we're supposed to submit? So. Uh, your submission and what you're going to submit uh, is going to be specified on the challenge do document under the submissions or the deadlines. Um, so make sure to go through them because every week you're going to, you might be asked to submit uh, different things. But for this week and especially for the interim, you are sub uh, expected to just su submit a PDF document. And the content of this PDF uh, do document is already specified on the challenge document. So make sure to go through that. And yeah, you will get a bigger and clearer uh, image from there. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, you're welcome, your turn. So we're good, right? Okay, so uh, we, we have uh, at the Boyega. Sorry for keeping you long. You can go ahead now. Okay, thank you very much. I would like to understand, are there assumptions or perhaps there are some skills we need to have before attending this uh, program? Especially, number one, the use of Google Sheets. Are we expected to be good users of Google Sheets? Then we're also expected to analyze data using some statistical means like mean, media, mode, or the use of KNN imputation, Google Studios for visual displays and so on. So I just want to know if there are requirements or there are some uh, things we need to know ahead of this class. If perhaps you should have mentioned so that some of us will get, uh, I mean, abreast with these things before getting down to the class because some are just people coming using the Google Sheets and the likes for the first time. So it may not be easy to navigate like a professional. That is one. Secondly, two, I don't know whether those tutorial sessions are recorded that we can always refer to if we have challenges with the live sessions. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much for um, the question. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Okay. Uh, maybe to just answer for this question. As it is mentioned on the challenge document for task one, it says that uh, for the first one, you need to have basic data cleaning and preparation in Google Sheets. So you might not be expected to do um, complicated or you know some uh, very different uh, uh, data cleaning and preparation. You can just find the, this requirement in your Google, in your in the challenge document as it says what learn how to you know how to make basic data cleaning and preparation in Google Sheets. So since it is the first a first uh, the first week session and the first uh, week challenge, so you're not expected to do uh, things that are very complicated and amazing. So it is not required for you from to know uh, deeply about those tools. If I get your question right, and I'm, I'm not that sure about the second question. So maybe if yeah, other people, me, yeah. yeah. Let me just take take it on one. So. Uh, just to add on what Reddy said, so there, is, there are no prerequisites uh, for these programs, but that's why we, we, we are going to give you sessions on everything, almost uh, how to use everything and how to be familiar with everything. So you don't need to know uh, priorly, you, you don't need to know how to do analysis, how to do charts, how to do everything. So we're going to be covering these things in our se sessions, so we're going to be building from the ground up. So. There are no specific technical uh, things that you need to know prior to, to this one. So that's going to be uh, uh, covered in the sessions. And all the tutorials and all the standards and all the things are going to be recorded and uploaded to YouTube. So if you miss any of them, you can check them out. I believe yesterday's sessions are all recorded and uploaded to YouTube. So 
make sure to just uh, check them out. Did I answer? Did, did we answer your question? Yes. Yes, it's okay. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, I saw somebody else raise a hand uh, and the cooler. Are we good? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah I know. Know. Should I continue? Yes, please. Okay, my question is, as for the data handling, cleaning sort of things that we have on, on the documents, do we, can we do it using the, you know, different models, like uh, maybe imputation models, different models, and to just go ahead with, with that and, and try to do it uh, differently? Um, so yeah, maybe uh, just to answer both of your questions of and the, and the previous question, you're not always supposed to use it, like everything that is mentioned in the session or only the things that, that are mentioned in the session, okay? They're going to be a first-hand uh, reference so that you can go deeply and you can choose whatever that you actually, depending on the challenge document, what is appropriate for your challenge. You can use whatever is appropriate on your challenge document. This is also for the first question. for. The previous actually and yeah you can use different type of uh, imputation methods it's, it was also covered in the session that one of the methods that we we'll, we will use that we can use to replace the missing values and missing uh, data is the imputation method so yeah it is really recommended to use that i hope i i have answered your question in the yeah, cool. yeah thanks yeah amazing thank you so much uh, do we have any other question? Maybe anyone else with a, with a challenge from yesterday or anything you'd love to ask? You can raise a hand, maybe. We still have some few minutes. Uh, Are we all good? Yes, yes. Question. Your turn. Yes, go ahead. Yes. Um, what's the difference between the part of the challenge and the whole report? Since I saw one, uh, just one challenge, so I'm a bit confused about the also challenge or how do we break down the talents. I'm not sure if I got you well. I don't know, Carol. Did you get it well? No, no, I did not. Can you say that again? On on the Slack, um, someone just asked how to submit the challenge, and the end the response was, uh, part of the challenge is tomorrow midnight. To tomorrow at some time, and the whole of the challenge is on that Saturday. But still, there is one challenge. So what's I didn't get this part. Oh, so uh, that's a really good question, actually. So what we aim to do is to get trainees to try and start working on their challenge before the deadline. So many many of us have a problem of doing something that we are asked to do until the last minute so for that on the challenge document if you have seen it uh, let's say if there's five uh, tasks that you have to submit then the first two are to be submitted on the first uh, submission which is the end term submission um, so in that you just submit part of the challenge part of the challenge let's say the challenge is uh, of course uh, combined of the tasks that we provide so part of the tasks are submitted on in the midweek which is every every week on wednesdays at 8 p.m utc and then uh, by the end of the week you will be submitting the final submission but then you don't have to work on all the tasks that, that uh, has been provided by the end of the submission so now you'll have part of the challenge done by Wednesday, and then you'll start working. So that's also to get um, to get time constraint off your back, and also stress maybe. Yeah. So just to get that off your back, you have two uh, submissions. And okay, so okay. Yeah. You take. Are you done? Okay. So. Uh, uh, so are we, are we the one deciding which part of the challenge that we want to submit for tomorrow or is it set for us? It's actually set. If you have uh, went through the challenge document under the submission, 
for interim submission, there's a specific test that you have to submit. And then for final submission, there's a specific test. So, um, Kirud, if you're able to share the challenge document here now, if you can, let's just go through the main uh, points regarding submissions. If you can share your screen. Yeah, thank you. You can go ahead and uh, describe. Yeah, okay. So here under the due dates and the submissions, we have both what you what we expect for you to submit on Wednesday, which is the interim submission, and what we expect for you to submit on Saturday, which is the final submission. So for this week, so every week is, uh, we have a, di a different thing. So for this week, what you're gonna be submitting is a single. Uh, yeah, I can't uh, see it. You you can't. Uh, can you guys see or? Okay, I'm seeing now. I'm seeing now. Okay, okay, good. So, yeah, here, here under the due dates or the submission, we have uh, what we expect for me on Wednesday, which is the interim submission, and what we expect for me on the final submission, which is on Saturday. So for this week, for the interim submission, which is going to be tomorrow, uh, we expect a single uh, PDF file which has a minimum of two pages and a maximum of uh, six pages. And what the content of the report is already specified here. So the first thing is the business understanding, the charts uh, from the data and your findings from the data and uh, the data collected from task two in a table form, form format. So our expectations for, the, for this week, the interim submission is a minimum of task one uh and ideally we expect uh some part of task two or the whole part of uh, task two and any other task that you have done so that's what you're going to be submitting for the interim submission on wednesday and we don't have any uh we're not going to provide any templates and we don't uh, actually you don't need to include any title pages and uh, just include a header for the sections. So that's going to be uh, it for the interim submission, just task one and part of task two or uh, just task one and task two. So is that clear for the interim submission, guys? Yes. Okay. And uh, and yeah, for the final submission, we do, uh, actually, again, we expect a report in a PDF form format, and it's going to be a minimum of three pages and a maximum of 10 pages. And make sure to include a link to your uh, Google Data Studio dashboard in the report. And uh, so the contents are going to be executed summary and your data analysis and uh, the, your final visualizations by using uh, Google D Data Studio. So. Here, you're going to include the screenshots. Uh, this uh, is actually uh, just to show uh, your work and also include the link. So this should be end, not or. Um, yeah. And for a bonus, you can include uh, links to access. Uh, no, uh, when you give us uh, the links to your Google Data Studio, make sure to give us access because we need access from you guys in order to view them. and uh just check your work and, and finally you're gonna have a recommendation section which uh, you're gonna write for your uh, employer for your company what you recommend which city you recommend and why but your decision or your recommendation should be data driven so you have to use uh, your uh, findings from your data analysis from your charts and so on in order to just uh, I recommend the appropriate city, the right city. So make sure to include why you did, uh, why you chose that city uh, and your recommendation or your conclusion should be data driven. And finally, the conclusion has to have uh, just a summary of the report and the future steps or uh, what to do in the next steps, the next steps. And advanced visualization created by using uh, Google Data Studio uh, that shows your critical insight and results. So 
uh, here you are just re required or expected to go uh, beyond uh, just the normal um, insights. So you have to just dig a little bit deeper in order to show your critical insights and results from using the Google Data Studio. Yeah, so that's just it for this week's submissions. Is that clear, guys? Or shall I go to yes. the... Yes, it is. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, uh, Emilia, I think there's a question yes. in the comment section from Bernard. Uh, so by this, can we use our own data yeah. from Google for the assignment yeah. instead of the provided the, the data on AirPods? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was just going to answer that one. Uh, so no, no, you have to use our data, what we have given you. Uh, what I was saying was uh, when we give you sessions and when we are uh, showing you how to do them, we might use other data just to uh, not to use the original data that you are going to be working on. But for you guys, you're going to be working on the data that we have provided. If we uh, require you to just uh, get other data, for, for instance, for this week, uh, you are required to fetch data uh, from the two sites that we have provided. So in these cases, you might go and uh, just fetch the data. But in other cases, almost always, you are required to use the data that we have provided. So is that clear, Bernard? Yes, it is. Thank you. OK, no welcome. Amazing. Okay. All right, thank you so much, Kirod. Uh, do we have anyone else left with a question, maybe, or a challenge? OK, if you can speak, if you are unable to speak, you can always share in the chat box. We're going to read it out, and then you're OK. If in, in case you can't speak, you can share as the OK, the YouTube channel is being shared in the chat box and Dorcas asked like in case you missed a, a session of course we always find the session on youtube channel it always takes us like two hours two to three hours for the session to be already on the youtube so you can always get it there i think we have a hand thank you someone raised the hand i didn't see um, it was me again oh okay please yeah so yeah. just before i yeah just uh, before we close the session i just want to uh, announce that i'll be sharing an onboarding uh, notion page for you guys to easily uh, get what to do uh, throughout the weeks uh can be for this week or any other weeks so that's what we're uh, that's what you guys uh, will be doing so i will just share that onboarding document on slack uh and yeah just uh if you have, if you need any guidance, I think the onboarding document will guide you. So, just wanted to say that, and also Emilian, if I just can uh, remind them about uh, the time uh, for the sessions that we have today. Uh, so we'll be having a tutorial on data collecting, uh, collection and using, and usage. I mean, using Numero and exploitation. So that's going to be at 9 a.m. UTC, uh, which means 12 p.m. EAT. Uh, it's going to be in about 20 minutes. So I hope you guys join. Yeah. So it's in 20 minutes. Make sure to join. Oh, you guys can hear me? I was not. Now we can. Now we can. Oh, okay. I was just reminding about the the time for the next session, and it's in around twenty minutes. So I think it's good that we wrap up this um, week. We we lost you again, Makida. In case you're speaking. Okay, but uh, I think. Uh, Makita was just sharing uh, the session, the schedule, just remaining the schedule today. As she said, we have tutorial that are collecting using Numio and Expert, uh, Expertzen, 
and then community building session, and then tutorial culture introduction of the day, and then go into submitting on 10x. That'll be it for today. And yeah, so yeah. Uh, before before we, we have close, any announcements, uh, not yes, announcements, please. but I think there are some questions on the message. So let me just uh, reflect yeah, on those. Please. Yeah. Okay. So uh, from Tasfai, I think before that everything is answered. So from Tasfai, uh, for Tasfai, there are no, uh, there was no slides for the challenge introduction. So uh, you have the challenge introduction document and also the recording. So uh, just make sure to check the recordings from the YouTube cha channel and go through the challenge do document. And if there is any think that's not clear, make sure to contact the tutors on Slack. But there is no slides for the challenge introduction. And uh, yeah, so the, 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 the business understanding means what you understand from what's expected from you. So for this week, you are uh, like the OM, right? The operations manager for a company and you are required to, uh, your company is looking to uh, just, uh, relocate to Africa, a city in Africa, and it has uh, some prerequisites that they have put in order to for you to find or to uh, just <clears throat> to just select the right city for their uh, for their their new lo location, right? So that the, the, the business that uh, the business understanding or the uh, what you you are expected. So from the business understanding, we just want you to reflect on what you understand uh, that's needed to be done for this week or for this project. Uh, is that clear? Okay. Uh, for Abdul Karim, uh, yeah. So we are going to be having other sessions or other projects that are going to be uh, focusing on event management and other things. So for this week, we are just uh, so every week you you're gonna be having projects, right? Different pro projects for every week. So uh, for the different projects, there are, you are going to be working on different things and different tools. So we're gonna be covering event management, and yeah. But for this week, it's not that one. Okay, I think. Okay, yeah. That's it for me, and uh, there are no questions. All right, amazing. Thank you so much, Kirod, and thank you so much, everyone. Uh, I think we can wrap up. If there's no more question or any challenge, then we'll meet in the next uh, session, the next tutorial. OK, I guess no. So I think that's it. That makes that marks the end of our stand-up. Uh, have a good day, everyone. Bye.